chicken wonton soup. There's something so comforting about it. I'm going to show you how to make it at home. So you need a pot of stock on. I've got about two litres of stock. It really depends on how many soup portions you want to make. And it's just coming up to the boil. To this, I'm going to add some sugar, so just some caster sugar, along with a few pieces of ginger. I love the flavour of ginger in my soup, particularly when there's a lot of colds going around, lots of ginger for your immunity, and then some shaozing wine. Okay, so that's just Chinese cooking wine. To this, I'll add a cinnamon stick and one star anise. Now, it is only one star anise, but it's quite powerful and you will taste that throughout the broth. So all of these beautiful leaves that we usually discard with the spring onions, I'm going to use them in two ways. So I'm going to add some to the broth to flavour. So we've got three pieces that can go in. The rest I'm going to keep, and that's going to be a garnish for our soup. I'm just going to cut them into really fine strips, pop them in some cold water and they'll curl up just for presentation. And then the rest I'll finely slice up for our chicken wontons. So cut them into rounds first and then gather them up and you can just run your knife through it a few times. You want it to be quite fine. And I really like to use the spring onions for this because they're quite mild in flavour, so they're not going to overpower the soup or the chicken wontons. Good, happy with that. Into the bowl with our chicken mince. Okay, and let's add some more flavours to this. So more ginger. This time I've minced the ginger along with some garlic. Also, I've minced it, but fresh garlic. Don't use uh, garlic that's already in a jar. I want the fresh flavour of it. It really does make a difference. A splash of sesame oil. And to combine this, a little egg white. So about half an egg white to that. To season this, so instead of salt, I like to add a little bit of soy sauce. I'm going to keep the rest for our broth once it starts to reduce slightly. The last thing is some Chinese five spice, a little sprinkle of that into our bowl. So grab yourself a spoon and we're just going to mix this together, incorporate it. You want it to be really sticky, so really work that with your spoon. Now for the fun part, which is making our wontons. I'm going to be using some square wrappers, really thin ones. You can find this at all your supermarkets now. We'll start with four and we want to add a teaspoon of the mixture to each of the square wrappers. Now, we just want a small amount of our mixture. I don't want these to be huge dumplings because it's got to balance with the soup. So they just got to float in there. So about one teaspoon, maybe even half a teaspoon is just enough into the centre. It's good. And I have a bit of a slurry here, a combination of corn flour and water. You could also use just a little egg white too. So we we'll brush the excess off our brush around the sides. And the best thing about these wontons is the rougher they look, the gnarlier they look, the better they are for this soup. So we're just going to fold it over, take out all the air bubbles, and you can either just leave it as is, or you can roll it around your finger and make like a tortellini shape, just like that. So I'm gonna make a few more of these and before I cook them, I'm going to strain my broth so it's completely clear. Chicken wontons are ready, so we're going to place it into some simmering water. Now, some recipes say that you can place it straight into the broth, and that's okay, but if you want to keep it really golden, just like mine, I suggest cooking the wontons in the water, placing it in your bowl, and then filling it up with the broth afterwards. So I have strained out all of the little bits and pieces that we had in there, so it's absolutely beautiful. It smells great, and it's time to season it. And so a little splash of soy sauce, and that's the broth done. So we'll turn that off, and we just have to wait for our gorgeous wontons to finish cooking. Because there's a very minimal amount of chicken mince in there, they take no time at all. Okay, these wontons are ready. I can see that they've come up to the surface. They've sort of shriveled slightly. We'll place them into the bowl 
just drain that excess water out. And you want about five dumplings per person. And now for this golden, beautiful broth. Look at that, so clear. Love this. And we'll just pour that over. A few ladlefuls. And to top this off, those little spring onions that we reserved. See how curly they are? That's all we need. I don't want lots of different toppings. It's all about the wontons and the broth. That is just pure gold there. You know, when you want that comforting food that takes no time at all to make, this is what I turn to. And a little tip, make a double batch of wontons, pop half in the freezer, and it's even faster to make in the middle of the week.